Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review channel. In this video, I'd like to speak about what kind of procedures or thought process that I've uh, done over the past few years before my purchases of when it comes down to LED or laser and the book projector level. Let's just start with the idea. Before you purchase a projector, probably you're going to use it for a couple of years. If you buy a quality model, you at least give it five years or maybe even 10. So you want your device to be in a sort of like quality level if you're especially going to create a room. So your choice, the start choice is important. So whether you should go LED or laser or just stick with the classic style, bulb style projectors. In this video, I'll try to sum up things and what you, to, what you should be thinking before your purchase and what is the need of your room or setup. We will talk about these things in a short video as much as possible. Let's just start with the most important parts. Everyone wonders how much will be the system, home cinema system cost. Well, bulb models are still easy to find and they are cheaper when you go to same spec level for the LED or laser. So the bulb wins on the price area. You buy bulb projectors still easy. If you go same spec uh, with the, you know, one is a LED or laser, the other one is a bulb model, you probably buy bulb model half the price. And the second thing is the brightness or the contrast level. Probably you'll find more brighter projectors on the bulb side. I'm not talking about the fully contrast or HDR quality, but generally brightness because of the bulb or LED comparison. More ancillary power if you need it, if you're going to use it on the open field, like a university, like a place with lights on, and you don't have an anti-light rejection screen, kind of special screen, you're going to just project it on the wall. You need a bright projector, and if you go above the 3000 uh, lumens of light, you'll probably end up buying a bulb projector. So that is another thing. The one thing with the power consumption, LED and laser projectors, uh, they consume less power, so they are more efficient on the power wise, but I'm not going to take it in a too much of a consideration if I were you, because how much you are going to watch with the projector, uh, if you're going to use it like four hours every day, like a TV, then you could be considering that, but otherwise the energy efficiency is not actual issue probably. So one other thing is the size. As you can see, this is Optoma UHD 35 4K projector, HDR projector. This is LG HF 60 LS Full HD LED projector. The size is night and day difference. This one is probably around 4 kilos and this is around 1.5. I can put it on a stand with only one. As a tripod mount screw, oh, there is, uh, there is, there are here like three uh, holes. Uh, also, you can connect this to a regular, probably uh, projector stand or projector, you know, uh, arm or something. But definitely, you can get away with a small tripod with these models. So, if you are going to carry your projector, probably LED or laser will be much easy to do, <clears throat> more than this heavy, bulky thing. And the other thing is the life cycle. Everyone wonders about the lifetime because if you're going to, like I said before, if you're going to purchase a projector, it's going to be like a TV. You want to use it for a long time, uh, as stable as possible. So the lifetime of the laser or the LED models, most of the time declared at 20,000 hours to 30,000 hours, depending on the brightness level that you use. They give the numbers higher for the echo modes. So uh, this projector, LG HF 60 LS, it is 30,000 hours, but it's in the echo mode. If you go to the uh, probably the brightest mode, it is it will be I guess 15,000, so half the time. So this is for the Optima. It's a bull projector, and if you go for the echo mode, it's 15,000. And if you go the uh, brightest mode, uh, it is probably around 4,000 hours. But there is an issue for that. Like this projector is too bright because it is 3,600 uh, lumens of light. This is 1,400 lumens. So the difference is night and day. 
even the echo mode of the Optoma is still brighter, near brighter than the uh, LG's full power. So LG goes to 15,000 hours, this also 15,000 hours at the echo mode. So it depends on how you use your projector. If you're going to use on the brightest uh, settings of your projector, then the bulb life is less. But if you're going to use it like me, if you can darken your room, you don't care about that much of a brightness because it will hurt your eyes like a TV because these things are quite strong. If you're not going to go above 120 or 150 inch, like if you go 300 inch, then you're getting far back and the light power probably get less. So I will do another video about this, but general quality at home size level, like 100 inch, 125 inch range. Uh, if you're above 3000 lumens, like this one, 3600 3, lumens, then you don't have to go to the uh, brightest mode. Echo mode will be fine for these kind of devices. So lifetime depends on how you use the stuff. And also there's a most, there's a, probably a one thing that everyone not so speak about it at all in the reviews, I suppose. The LED life of the, these devices or laser devices have a long, uh, long LED life or laser uh, life, but there's a problem. No one mentions about the cost of repairing the LED model. Yes, you can use it like 10 years, maybe even 15 years, depending on the uh, hour of usage for daily basis or how much you use in a year or something, but the repair cost or the LED prices are not available. When you look, uh, when you Google stuff, you cannot find the LED uh, spare parts for them. So most of the devices, we don't see the inside at the, uh, when we look, when we Google it. So let me know if you have information about the price cost of the LED or laser model projector repair cost, because this is important. Uh, for a lot of people, but what I know, the Optoma UHD 35 is uh, 3600 uh, lumens of power and 4K HDR projector, which I can find the bulb around 50 to, 50 to 75 dollars. That means I can purchase a spare bulb and still continue its life cycle easily. And when I put it to a fully echo mode, use it like this for let's just say less than 10 years i could use for my calculations my daily use for two hours after when i get home at work uh, from work so i will be using this much at at, um, at top like two hours three hours so i can use this around eight or ten years with the echo mode after the 10 years let's just say bulb is 75 dollars because i found it like 55 dollars i remember so if I say $50, it means every year it's $5. Every month is less than $0.5, which is quite cheap if you ask me. But I don't know the repair cost of the many LED models in the market. I think many of them uh, have embed LED style things with the boards and stuff. And let me know at the comment section below if you know the prices of the repair of these devices, but I don't think it will be cheaper. Because uh, as a professional photographer over 15 years, I use uh, special light setups for uh, different product shoots. Uh, what I can tell you is that if you go for a single LED with a lot of power, then you're going to pay a huge amount of money. Because most of the time we use uh, over a thousand watts of powers for lighting an object with softboxes. They are quite expensive and they need, uh, they need to have like coolers and fans and stuff and they are professional lights, so they keep the light level and color in the same place. Uh, projectors are also the same, so they need to keep the color of the LED in the similar range, so it needs to be fixed with quality uh, of the LED or laser, and it also needs to be focused, and uh, this creates uh, also the price uh, going up. So uh, I think in this direction, LED models and laser models have we're, uh, we're going to see that in the future, uh, but they'll, they'll be very expensive to repair, just like uh, our uh, smartphones. So one other thing is the LED or lasers have one, they are small, easy to carry, so they have portable models. If you're going to go for portable projector uh, level, and if you move room to room, 
or if you go outside your home if you have a garage or if you have a big wall to uh, you know screen cast on it so it will be better for you to go for the lead because these things are quite heavy but one other thing will be probably for me it's interesting to see as a photographer over 15 years the lenses most of the projector with bulk style they have glass lenses on the front but most of the uh, lead devices we don't know if they have glass or something like plexi or hard legs whatever it is but not a, exactly a good glass at all because we cannot test the glass level and as you can see optoma declares the f value which is uh, f stop we call it at the diaphragm value when uh, we are shooting videos or photography and uh, optoma has f 1.98 or f 2.02 level of diaphragm which means it can uh, it can gather if you're going to shoot photos with those kind of lens it will be creating very sharp very shallow depth of field very light fully photo but if in the otherwise if you're projecting something you are not going to lose your light through your lens and the sharpness will be edge to edge very sharp so if you have a good lens that will create image quality what i'm seeing when you go cheap uh, lead projectors their lens are small and also the quality of their lens are getting um let's just say not so cheap but you have to be look, uh, looking a little bit of careful to see the numbers on it if they are declaring in numbers they are trusting their lens and edge to edge sharpness will be way better with them one other advantage or disadvantage advantage of the lead or laser models they have most of the time some sort of a smart uh, controller inside so you you can use your air mouse you can use your their operation system some of them has google tv some of them has android tv some of them has their own uh, operating system uh, lg has the web oes which is their uh, tv basically operation system this thing is easy to cast easy to connect the Wi-Fi network because we have all the connections here also optical connections so if you're going to uh, for LED or laser then you find more connectivity uh, in these devices most of the general uh, bulk projectors still doesn't have too much of a smart function so you need to connect the dongle I explained my in my earlier videos but they have bigger space so they might have a lot of connections to connect devices much more devices sometimes and the size is a sometimes advantage sometimes not when you go up top to the size you can put bigger speakers in them so some of the big uh, projectors like this uh, optima uhd 35 has a 10 uh, i remember it uh, it has 10 watts of uh, probably speakers and i think they are quite good enough to use watch tv not maybe affect 3d sci-fi movies and stuff but you could definitely get away with general use uh, but when you go to the LED size uh, LG's speaker is quite small uh, when you look at the size there is not much of a space to put a big speaker in it and also when you think about the heat level because of the power consumption you're probably thinking that big projection with the bigger light source and also more heat and it could create more heat and then the fan will work uh, on its way with the speed more speed and uh, probably it will uh, create more noise it's not that it's not true because if your case is big you can put a bigger fan in it so bigger fan works little less than the smaller fan and you can get away with the less noise it depends on your projector also it depends on which level of brightness you use because most of the time when you push the brightness button when you put it on the top like the brightest one the fan hits uh, the edge of the speed uh, edge of its speed so it will create much more noise than you think uh, but when you go to the echo mode like me i am using this projector all all the time nearly echo mode i don't need the bright mode so this one doesn't make too much of a sound so also this one has a small fan in it and when i go to the bright mode because the quality is brightness level is very low compared to this one so i need to go little bright at least medium size a medium level so uh, the fan needs to sp uh, speed up and the small fan creates a lot of noise noise levels are nearly the same i know these things depending on the device it changes but still this is a way 
to take a consideration all those uh, choices before you make any decision. Uh, since these things, uh, lead ones and laser ones, are smaller and less heavier, you can put it on a tripod or you can mount it on the top of the ceiling. Like uh, you can place it better than the uh, classic style because these are bigger and you need to have a bigger arm or stand to put it on. And uh, older models from the bulb range sometimes when you go cheaper they don't have a edge to edge correction for edge correction which is quite important so before your purchase and i know it's not about the laser or the bulb style or led style kind of thing it's about the projectors menu and the standard but let's just take it consideration if you're going uh, cheap or budget with the bulb ones you'll definitely probably missing the four corner uh, correction uh, you can have either vertical or horizontal couple of moments but four corner is important when you are going to project not just straight but with an angle if you have a wall like me I, right now I have a column straight column right in the middle of my screen so I project with the 10 to 15 degree angle so I need to corner correction I will uh, create another video for that why do you need that and why you should be purchasing and before your purchase consider that too so before your purchase uh, of your projector it doesn't matter lead or laser or bulb just take things take all these things into consideration right now i'm using bulb one after lead model so it's not about the lead or laser or a bulb it's about your choice and what you need before you buy it as always uh, one other thing is uh, it could be important for people lead or laser models just when you put push to the button they open instantly like one or two seconds if they have operation system in them they might be taking like four or six seconds depending on the operation system just like tv while the bulb models this optoma is around 45 to 55 seconds which means it's quite gonna take your time and if you close them bulb models uh, you have to wait and then when they close fan also makes some noise afterwards to cool the uh, system down so uh, if you're going if you need to be quick like a TV if you're going to use this uh, uh, use your projection as a TV you might be thinking that it needs to be fast then you should go laser or LED model by the way I haven't talked about the laser TV kind of ultra short throw devices in this video but general per uh, general uh, content also just uh, takes a, every kind of information that you need uh, to apply to a laser TV too. It doesn't change that much. If you're going to laser TV, all the same applies. You have to look for the ansel lumen or lumen or brightness power that you're going to use in your room. And you're going to look for a good optic. You're going to look for operation system. You're going to look for uh, the speaker level. Everything you're going to look for in a projector you will be looking for them but what I'm trying to tell you is if you find something good priced of a lead model just take a quiet look at closest competitor on the bulb one because you can get a lot more if you're going to purchase high-end devices for example this projector is 4k 60p and also full HD 240s 4.2 milliseconds which is a gaming style you can connect it to ps5 and like me xbox one x kind of 4k gaming consoles so the latency is good this is also good projector for gaming if you're going to watch football matches from your 4k tv uh, satellite receiver this is also for that because when you have more response time you can create sharper images on the action so it depends on your choice but my choice is just about price performance and i think in 2023 price performance still is on the uh, bulb models and it's easier to repair repair costs is quite low at least to my knowledge if you know better or if you know uh, you can add this content to a value please write the comment section below the cost that you can find on the market like the expensive models 
the, I'm talking about the 4K or quality uh, Full HD LED projector repair cost for the LED or laser models. Otherwise, we are not talking about $100, $200 range cheap Chinese projectors because they are in other league and their total cost is low. So you might be finding a couple of the parts, but I don't know the total cost. But I believe if it's $50 or $65 that I can find on the market for the bulb, and if I can change the bulb, then I go for the bulb side because nearly I use it all the time in echo mode. I believe this video gives you enough information. Uh, I know it's quite long. I will be making list around the video at the edges, uh, the positives or negatives or the LED or the bulb projector side. Uh, I'm going with my 4K bulb projectors, uh, projector. I am quite happy with it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of projector you use. And before you create your setup, please watch my whole room setup. Right now I'm shooting this video with the room lights and just the front added light and that's it. But I also watch movies and TVs with the same lighting in this room, same room. If you're wondering the room, please watch my other videos too. Hope to see in the next video. Your like and support uh, and subscription will be uh, very good for me. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.